set the direct order. Do it now. Oh, right. Vlogmas day two. Um, charity shops today. And it's Monday. I did all my parceling yesterday to try and get a bit ahead. Um, so I, but that all still needs to go to the parcel shops, and I'll do that in a bit. Um, I'm dropping off a load of games first at CEX um, to get the voucher from there. Um, and then I'll do the charity shops. Now I am going to do quite a few today. I'm going to go to a place I've never been before that I drove through yesterday and saw there was six or seven charity shops. And also a model train shop, which obviously I will go in. Um, so we'll see what we can find there. Um, but also I'm in this, I normally come here quite often when I go to CEX. So um, I'm here, so I'll drop some games off and then see what's about. So uh, let's have a look. Rather pleased with what I got today. Um, spent up a bit, had to pay for some quality items, but it's more than worth it, most definitely. A um, bit of a, uh, a diverse um, collection of stuff. Um, some electronics, some clothing, some games, toys. Um, I did a lot of charity shops today. Uh, probably did about 20, travelled around a bit. I went to a place I've never been to before, got some pickets from there. Um, so yeah, really good, really, um, you know, really happy with what I've got today. So I did spend quite a bit of money today, but I should get some good returns. And obviously December now, um, now's the time for selling. Um, because of the big C, Grimbo, that is. Um, right, so a couple of bits have picked up today. Um, popped into a charity shop that I go in quite regularly. They don't tend to have much normally, but today they came up trumps. Um, I'll try and lift this up as one, but I will probably fail because it is rather heavy. Very heavy. This is a Denon um, separate, I suppose you'd call it a MIDI system because it's not the biggest, um, but it's a Denon system. Um, we've got at the top there, I think, is that the tuner or amplifier? Um, so it doesn't sound on the back. <laughs> Turn it around a bit. Oh, sorry about this, it is rather heavy. Yeah, so at the top there, we've got the um, tuner and, oh, blimey, sorry, dropped a speaker there. Still, all good. So, yeah, we've got the amplifier. We've got a triple CD. We've got a cassette player. And right at the bottom there is a mini disc system. Um, so, obviously, there's all the separates there. Let's pop them down. There's two speakers, rather nice uh, wood effect Denons. There you go, beautiful speakers. There's all the manuals somewhere. I don't know what I've done with them. They're about somewhere. Yeah, all the manuals and the instructions for each individual um, component and also a remote control. Remote control. So it's all there. It's all good. Paid up for this one, paid 50 quid. Yeah, a lot of money is for one saying, but good return on that. Um, I checked through a couple of the separates. The CD player can sell for around 25, the mini disc for around 30, and then obviously I've still got the cassette, the amplifier, and the speakers. So I think as trying to sell it as one unit, I might go for about 129.99, see what goes. Except offers around about 100, so. Although I've spent 50, I'm still going to double my money easily and make £50 profit, so not too bad at all. Um, in the same shop, another electrical item, right at the bottom of everything. Here's all the instructions and stuff there, so that's all good. I've never seen one of these before. This is a Panasonic DVD player, but it has five discs. It's like a multi-changer DVD player. Um, never seen anything like that. Why you would, well, I suppose if you're watching a a, a series, like, a, you know, a series of The Walking Dead, you could put them all in, 
you haven't got to get up and change discs when each one's finished. Um, so yeah, never seen one of them before. Um, checked it while I was in the shop. Sells for around 35, 40. Paid 750 for that. That again has got the remote control with it, which is down here somewhere in one of the other bags. Um, so yeah, not too bad from that charity shop. Uh, I popped in cash converters. No, this wasn't cash converters. I did go in cash converters, didn't find anything. I found a, there was a lovely mountain bike in there. A Boardman Team carbon mountain bike uh, for 300 quid. Checked on, on eBay while I was in there and they sell for about 500. I'm like, right, I'm having that. But it was sold. Unfortunately, it just sold online. So some lucky person has got that. This was in the Heart Foundation electrical store. This is a personal, well not personal, but you know, a, a small CD player radio system, but it's Disney. So it's got the little Disney and the little Mickey Mouse there. Uh, quite a nice unit actually. Um, Pay the tenner for it. I couldn't find any comps for this. Um, I might need to try a bit harder, do a bit more research on that. But I thought for a tenner, that's well worth that. That's probably gonna go for about, I don't know, 30, 35, maybe 40 quid. So yeah, nice little pick up that one. I think that's it for electricals today. A um, couple of other things. Um, I picked this up because it was five pounds in uh, PDSA, I think. It's a breathable car cover by Maypole. Um, it's brand new in the box. Uh, it was a fiver. Now, I checked on eBay and I could only find used ones. Well, well, on my search was only used ones and they were selling for 30, 35. So I know this is probably 50 quid. So off a of fiver, nice. Um, right then, where else are we? We've got this rather nice Liverpool Adidas um, tracksuit top. I'm not sure exactly what year it is. I'd say early 2000s, because it's got the Carlsberg on it and it's got the Adidas. I think that's, the, I'm not sure if that's Champions League or something like that. But it's in really good condition. It's a large. This was six pounds and I'd expect around 17.95 for that tracksuit top. So not bad at all. This is rather nice. This is a, um, hold on, me, I'm just doing a zip up on the top. This is a hold all, but it's Canon. It's an old, I don't know, I'd probably say 80s, 90s hold all. Um, but it's, as I say, Canon. So, you know, Canon cameras, etc. cetera, um, electronics. Um, really, really, really good condition. Couple of marks on the end there. That end's slightly faded, the colour. Uh, but yeah, really like that. Um, this was four quid. Couldn't find anything like it online on eBay, um, but I'll probably shoot for about 30, 35 on that. But uh, nice bag, really. Nice bag, nice find. Um, I'm going to leave those to the end because those are one of my favourite pickups that I've made for a long time in a charity shop. Um, in the new ones that I found, that I've never been in before, I've found a few things. There was this nice pair of Burton um, snowboard boots. I'm pretty sure the guy who created Burton died recently. Um, I might be wrong there, um, but I'm sure he did. If he did, condolences. Um, but yeah, nice boots. Obviously, Burton are probably the best brand in snowboarding. These are called Emerald. They're ladies, I believe, boots. Uh, UK 7.5. Nice. Uh, they were 15, sorry. And they should fetch, well, mixture on eBay. Auctions don't do very well at all for them, but buy it now can go up to about 50, 60 pounds. Um, so not too bad. Another piece of electrical. This is just retro awesome. This is a steeple tone um, multi-wave radio. So it's short wave as well as FM and uh, long wave. So a uh, really, really nice, um, nice unit. Um, paid up again for this, 30 quid I paid for this one, but I did check my comps. One of this exact same thing sold recently on a bike now for 130. Others have sold for around 80, 90 pounds. So from 30, that's a really nice find. It's all because it's got the shortwave on it. That's why uh, 
that's why it's worth the money but uh, it really is a really nice uh, bit of kit that one please with that awesome game find star wars return of the jedi, jedi battle at sarlacca's pit game by parkers um it's dated 1983 it's so cool i've, I've got it out and checked it all but it's like a a 3D um, of Jabba's barge, and you get the little figures. So you get Jabba the Hutt, Gamorrean guards, uh, Luke Skywalker, Chewie, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and a few others. Box is a little bit damaged, unfortunately. It is 100% complete. All the all the bits are there. Sorry, a bit of hiccups there. All there. That was a five, no, three quid. Um, three pound that one should go for around around 25 to 30 i'll punch for 30 because it's complete and all the the little figures that you get are in good condition so the box does let it down so that might not help me but uh yeah not bad for three quid up to about 25 i will take that all day long lastly i think a couple of pairs of trainers um some air max uh what are they air max run does that say run light run light two air max run light twos uh they were five pounds i haven't checked on those normally sell uh, nikes for around about 20 um so not too bad the next pair this is the last thing i'm going to show but i'm really 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 like this again it's trainers um but yeah these are worth a bit more <laughs> these are adidas Whoop, drop some team lotus um trainers so the uh, when lotus had an uh an f1 team they're in good condition as you can see hardly anywhere um on the inside there and the bottom although needed and clean uh, again hardly anywhere at all on them really really nice trainer um they're big these are a uk well, they 12 and a half, so that's even bigger than me. I'm a size 12 foot, um, so those would be too big for me, but a nice, really nice, big size. Now, then, picked them up. There was only one on the stall on the, on, on the shelf, 6 99 Boom, she gets the other one out. Oh, sorry, they're 9.99. So, anyway, I thought, well, you know. They are really good. They are really nice. I'll pay them nine ninety nine. That's not a problem at all. And there's one pair of these on comps on eBay, um, but they were a size six point five, so a smaller size. I've struggled selling trainers in smaller chart sizes before, um, and they sold for sixty nine ninety nine. So these in a the nice big size in a really 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 good condition. I don't know, I'm going to aim high on these. I might go for 100 on these um, and see what happens. They are so cool. They are in such good condition. Really nice find for a charity shop. I'm really pleased with those. Uh, made my day that. Um, so, yeah, really, really nice find. Really cool trainers and a really good return. So, not bad for a start of December. Um, bit of charity shopping and some really, really awesome finds um so yeah quite a bit of profit from today which is nice um yeah there we go um i say as you'd have seen from a video i posted earlier which was supposed to go out yesterday but i forgot um we're doing vlogmas this year so there uh, will be a video every day from us um this month um for the crimbo um special vlogmas um yeah so i uh, hope you don't get bored of seeing me hey um, but yeah, I'll do my best to keep you entertained, um, give you some tips and um, make everybody some money, fingers crossed. So that's it for me for now. Um, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, really, really appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow on another video. Ta-da.